Hey, what's up, hi there. Welcome to our tutorial. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right, so in this tutorial, yeah, we are gonna be building this using Tailwind CSS. So if you're new to Tailwind CSS, this is like a nice tutorial for you to you know get started with Tailwind CSS. And uh, why we did this, it is not actually responsive, so it's um, only for like a desktop side screen. Hope you understand what I'm saying. Then, um, yeah, whatever that, let's look at what we are gonna be building. So we have this here, and you can see we have some shadows here, some drop box or shadows, whatever. Then we have um this thing that has um this um flex of um of um, movies that is actually you know you can, you can see them blinking. So this is an animation in Tailwind CSS. In CSS, Tailwind CSS, I mean, they were show over this the same animation over here is actually of happening here, but when I over it, you can see that we have this opacity from fifty to hundred when I over it. Then lastly, we have something here, a text field that allows us to type. All right. So without further ado. for Tailwind CSS to to finish his calling. Um, I'm using the I'm using the white and I'm just gonna change it because it's actually dark here. I'm gonna turn it back to dark uh, I think this is okay. Alright so let's wait for Tailwind CSS to install why that is installing uh, uh, uh okay I can see I'm having issues in this thing so I'm gonna set it back to, to the lighting. Hopefully you can see this very clearly. Uh, why that one is installing? Let's take a look at Tailwind CSS. Let's just click on um, this place and open it to You can see Tailwind CSS rapidly build modern website. It allows you build modern website without leaving your HTML. Basically, you just add classes to it. So your it's nothing, nothing, nothing very big. You are doing it's as simple as ABC. Just like this, you can see adding some classes and making some changes. So basically, that is how to make CSS. Um, yeah. So my idea is that when I'm the reason why this is not um, um this is not responsive because I just built it for a tutorial reason, or because because on normal day when building with CSS, I prefer to build from mobile view first, then moving them to set them um, to desktop view because I think it's more easy like that to switch because. So building from uh <coughs> sorry, so building from medium to small screen, I think that a lot of the kind of stressful for me. So I build from from um, actually small to the medium screen. All right, so let's check out Visual Studio Code and see if it has installed. Yeah, so if it has installed already, I'm just gonna clear this. Head over to the Visual Studio Code, uh, to the browser. I mean, so we need to create a configuration file which is tailwind.config.js. 
So let's go down. Paste that in. So this is gonna create the file for us right in this place. Right. Same thing, copy everything and paste them here. So we just added this little line of code for like Hello, this is where we wanted to check our files from. All right, so that's like turning it okay. Yeah, the parts of where our HTML CSS or whatever it's there. Let's go ahead and copy this. Yeah, you can see we have inside SLC. Let's go to file code input.css. So SLC, go to another file code input. Terminal PZ, so this is like you turn everything from here, all this turn it to a CSS code. Then, watch is going to be like, enter we make a changes, then it's what it will reload like the CSS file for us to be able to see what we did. All right, so you can see it is done already now, it's actually up and running. So, what we're gonna do now is just let us grab this system here. So, in this SLC index.html, index.html, save this. Paste, save. You can see the way we save, everything is reloading. So that is the idea actually. Then I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open, you can see we are not linking to the disk, to the disk which is the disk here, which has the output of CSS, which has um, like the same CSS code. Yeah. Okay. Now, so we have this. I'm just gonna open this with live server to like see my changes. See my changes. I'm just gonna close this. So you can see we have same CSS up ready. So TV CSS is working now. How? Because you can see we have underline here. So underline is telling you, okay, I want the text to be underlined. If I should close that now, you can see underline is gone now. All right, so we have the way it's installed already. All right, so let's just get started into the next tutorial. So we have done this, so let's just get started. So head over to Visual Studio Code. Uh, let's go ahead and delete this. So first, what I want to do is create a div. I want to create a div. So Inside that div, I need a class. So the class is gonna be px4 and py4. So the middle of px is padding horizontal and py is padding. Uh, I think, okay, horizontal is like this and uh, vertical is like this. So px is horizontal, and py is vertical. So it's saying I wanted to apply for four padding to it. So meaning if I should go ahead and just like write a lawyer, then this is what it's gonna happen. Because see we have the padding and we have the padding at the top also. All right, so once that is that, what we want to do is uh we need we need an icon so let's go to hero icons dot com so hero icons is actually built by the team with um team with um community i think the people who are created created it so what i want to do is search for menu so this is the menu one i'm just going to copy that down so go ahead and copy that you know delete the hello so what i want to do is now go ahead and do div so add we are going to add some plus you can see my and Copilot is working, so just ignore that. So, you want to make this a flex justify. So, when you justify, you want to justify between then padding x of four. Or, wait, let me just do so you so we understand what you are trying to do here. Let me do a div, a div instead. So, once I've done that div, let me just paste in this. So, save that and if we should refresh, you can see we have this here. So, after that div. We need another thing again. Uh, we need another thing. Sorry. So, okay, so we need to like wrap this in the div also. We need to wrap this in the div also. All right, so outside that div now, we want to have another div again. So, this div wants to have some span of text that says, let's say, all. So, it's going to copy this. One, two, three, four. So, this is going to be movies. Uh, this is gonna be a series. And this is also gonna be let's say TV shows. TV shows and uh, cartoons. I'm gonna close this. I can also do Ctrl J to close the terminal. Okay, save this. So if you go ahead and check this out, refreshing, you can see we have this. And the last thing we need is for the blue parts, we need uh some blue parts where we can render our stuff actually so what i'm gonna do and what i'm gonna do now is just come back i'm sorry i'm looking for my house 
So I'll go back here. I'm going to do a div first. That's the first div. Then I'm going to do another div. So inside that div, I can I say, I can see, um, trying to look how, what I can say. Um, sorry, excuse me a little bit. Uh, hopefully, I see what I'm trying to catch from here because I have the code written on that part, so I'm just yeah, bringing it up. All right, so I can have div another div that I can let's go and do class equals to uh, bg blue 500. So we can see what we are having. So we should refresh this, nothing. Let's go and do hello hello yeah so you can you can see we are having this now all right so what we want to do is uh, make them a, a flex you can see they are on top of each other so you want to make them a flex so to make them a flex you just need to head over to the top again you need to head over to the top sorry head over to the top which is i think this place here unless you class equals to flex justify specify between then padding x of four let's take a look at that now you can see they be justified between all right so this is what we need then um for the for this ones here we don't want them to be like that type of space we, we, let's get our add ones here down to the pattern left of um 16 space x so i want a space in between all of the text then a flex of one then i will add uh, a width of 32 to it so let's check that out you can see now it is right here and you want to lay this one to there the middle of this space x is actually put this to zero now you're gonna see what's gonna happen you can see they're all jump back together but if i should add a space of four horizontally this is what we're gonna be having all right nice so once we've done that Let's first go ahead and start styling this one. So let's head over to the down part. Hopefully you are following what I'm trying to do in this place. So first thing I wanna do is, let's remove this class. So what we wanna do is flex, make this a flex of one. Give it the width of 64. I want to give the background color. So we can add our own background color to it. Instead of using the color and the shade we can add our own background color to it so we're gonna do bg ash seven six seven one f zero so this is the color i'm gonna be using for the background rounded so we want to have rounded two xl two xl pattern should be eight and pattern horizontal should be like just one so let's check that out so this is what we are having right now good so what I want to do is inside here again. Let's just delete this. I want to have a di with the flex, justify. So you want to justify them to be at like the end. So you see what I'm trying to do now. Space x. So we have justify center, justify between, justify start, justify end. So end is like the last angle. The last angle. You see what I'm trying to say? So let's get and do span. I'm gonna put my name here so my name is precious so let delay I'm gonna put my name there then for the span i'm just gonna add a class of text should be color white then the text should be actually small so i should save this now i check this out wait for it to load you can see now we have it this is meaning of justify end i want it to be at the end then what i need now is an image so i want an image under here so I'm just gonna grab the, some of the image in the project I first created for the demo. I'm just gonna grab the images here, which is yes. So I'm gonna grab all the image. Don't worry, I've uploaded this to GitHub, so you can go ahead and check it out. And I'm just gonna click on all these images. Sorry. Control C. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna paste them. I'm gonna paste them right here. Alright, good. So the first thing the first thing that I want to have is icon iPhone remove because I'm I use the website called remove.bg to remove the background images. Background from the picture, I mean. So dot PNGs. Let's save this. 
I see this job we are having now. Not very good. So what we're gonna do is uh provide a class w should be 10 a should be 10 so we are saying a width of 10 and a height of 10 for the image you see we have this tiny image right here Good. so um, uh yep so this is what we are having right now so i can see you can see uh, the text is not at the end so i've just cut the div out so it, it needs to be like inside the div also so i'm gonna put that back save this i can see that yet now you notice our text is not centered how are we gonna do that so let's go ahead and cut this cut this let's create another div so this div we receive a class of um, flex item center then justify center justify center let's go ahead and paste this save then now exactly this is what we need good so we've done that part what we need to do is let's just move on let's move on so after this place let's get a provide a pattern of four so these are like do the pattern i just write that part after the next line so the pattern is there already i'm gonna do a div so inside this div i want to have a class of flex dot pattern x of two okay there once you have an input field so we are doing the input type here sorry why is this <laughs> input okay input with text not type type text so let's save this but let's look at that so this is what we are having now we need an icon too so icon i'm going to be searching for is settings so this icon i'm going to touch copy this once you copy that then just write on the paste it let's save and check that out oh yeah so you have this for now so you can see that they are flex because we added flex to it so we have that now so what we want to do is uh for this one let me put the let and do class we want to have w full so to take all the space so the background, I'm just gonna copy it here. Copy that. Then let's do outline should be none. So let's save this and check it out. Because we are not seeing it. So the outline is also not there because outline is when like click on the on the text field, those border that just comes out. So that is the outline. So that is the outline there. Okay. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say then um uh, yeah i think that is everything we need now then let's go ahead and add a placeholder the placeholder let's just search for movies or series okay so we have search for movies or series uh, i'm trying to figure out we are mining with this place. Okay, so let's see this and check that out. You can see we have such movies or series. So let's try, let's customize our our placeholder. So to do that, we just need to specify placeholder. Then a colon. Let's say text should be gray or two hundred. But let's do placeholder. Let's do placeholder. So the text should be large. Text should be large. Text should be white. And on a regular basis, the text should be actually large. Apart from the place so that should be large. So see this. You can see we have this now. Alright, so this is coming to place. I can see how our, our our circle is small, but don't worry, it's gonna get expanded very soon. So for our for our uh so this is not a file here. Okay, so this is the file. For our um uh, icon, what we're gonna do is set um trying to figure out okay, we just need to specify text should be color white. So you can specify text for it. So text should be color white. 
save this check it out so you can see we have that right there all right so once this is done already and this is all then under that under this part here we want to have a div padding top of four so padding top of four and yeah we want to have some lists not actually lists but some like list of things we need so let's go and do div px of two so inside the div page of two you want to have div dot flex dot space x of two all right space f, x of two okay let's actually do space x of one let's do space x of one we want to have a button button dot rounded full text should be small so that text excel text should be in center so that text center let's say that we want to have px of two px of two dot vg so this has a background color itself I'm just gonna put that here vg background color should be nine two eight the f2 f2 so let's click enter <laughs> so i think there's a mistake here let me just put this in brackets so let's save this and check how we are having okay of course not is going to show because we now put passing names inside the button so in the button coming so in the button last minute to do is specify it text should be color white okay so we want to go ahead and specify something like let's go ahead and type in crime so this is like the movie tag so crime refresh so you can see we have crime right here cool. so let's just go ahead and copy that in like i think seven times let me just count that here so that will be one two three four five six so six times so six times let's get and do that two three four five six so it's one two three four five six good so we have six there and you can just go ahead and put in anything you want to put in so i'm just gonna put in i'm gonna put a cartoon sci fi sci -fi adventure adventure documentary adventure documentary uh let's say drama and shows let's save this and see what we're having so far so this is what we're having now uh, is not like we expected it's not responsive so uh, yeah once that is done we actually don't need to do anything in this place now because that is already done so we have the one two so we have the that one two good so what we're gonna do now is head over to the top to the top 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 what we have this div i'm gonna show you real quick so i'm gonna bring it out from this place um sorry okay yeah so after this place so after this place here we have this div we have not that if you have this div so this div is gonna take a class called absolute absolute we have top of 20 we have px of 12 all right so with that also i want to go ahead and have a div i'm just gonna cut this one class of uh px4 and py4 then we need to close this at the end Okay, so we've closed that at the end. 
So let's save this and see what happens. So this is what we are having right now. Good. So mm, let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, so this is it right here. So what I want to do is head over and add a span. Head over and add a span. So that span is going to take a text. It's going to take a text of 3. Text of 3 XL, that is 3 um, extra large. Then another span is going to see fonts board. Font board, we are going to say recommended. Recommended to you. Close this span, save this, and let's see what happens. Because see, you have recommended to you. Nice. So after this part, I want to have uh, a div of padding top of two. Padding top of two. Div of padding left of four. Or for that, we have an image of South Sea, which is local. Local or JPEG. So we look at the JPEG. We want to add a class. So that class is going to be drop shadow excel so this is like a blurry background kind of stuff they have rounded two excel rounded in like two extra large we want the image to be full and we want height to be 60 percent sorry 60 percent save this and let's see what we're having so you can see this is what we are having now starting starting to take shape starting to take shape so we say Drop shadow XL, yeah. It's starting to take shape. Um, padding left of four. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at that thing. So this is it. The padding left of four. So one that is that. Let's get a like close this D. So let's close that div and see what we're having. Yeah. So this is what we have because sometimes the div do. Do mess up for my face, so I need to like confirm what we are actually doing. So let's just have a div padding top of four again. So I have that padding top of four. I want to have div padding horizontal of six. I want to flex. I want to justify should be should be between them. So one that is that I want to do a span. I want to do a span. Sorry, font. Board, font board, text, Excel, and let's do most popular. So, most popular, because we have most popular. Yeah, all right. So, I think this session is becoming too long already. Let me just stop this section. I will come. All right. So, after the most popular, so what I'll do is have a H tag. So this is like, let's just say X to their place that we can go ahead and do. Sorry about that. We can go ahead and do class. So we want a text color of a uh, of a H E X code seven six seven one F O. Okay, then let's do text S M. Then let's do font bold. So let's save save that yeah no we are not gonna see anything let's do view all then we should do view all and check that you can see we have this nice so what that is done once you go ahead and add like the movies part the movies list and blah 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 whatsoever uh yeah let's go ahead and do that so once you do div a padding top of four then div dot px of six dot flex dot space x of two all right so inside that inside that i want to go ahead and have a grid so let me check this out so we want to learn let's make use of a grid so once we make use of a grid system grid dot space x of one they want to have another div we can we can just have a div sorry 
a div so this div doesn't have to like have anything it's just okay yeah, i think it does it does have something so div is going to be rounded excel background color should be blue should be blue 200 animate for so once you animate it then flex then justify between uh, not justify between sorry justify center go ahead and do this uh let me check this out okay good so inside that the i want to have an image what is wrong with this an image so that image is going to be free guy i think remove bg then preview dot png all right so if you know if you've not watched free guy you're actually missing that theme is banger you can see we have the animation working now we have the free guy loaded you can see we have a background color of blue so which is actually this where is it uh this background color if i should move this like red now you should be able to see like red so we are adding it uh so, well yeah so you can see we're having that on the red background so we want blue 200 instead okay good then for our image just gonna add the class our image is too big let's do width of 22 height of 20 save uh nope okay width of 20 i mean you should do vice versa height of 22 save uh, yeah so i have to like make add add refresh i don't know why i don't know why live server is deciding to not work for me this time around okay All right so we've done we've done this so the next we need to do is uh so this that is under the grid system yeah so under there let's get a uh, the flex system justify between justify between let's just span The text should be small, then font should be bold. So let's gonna put in free guy here. So under that, I need to do div dot flex. So we need like a star icon. So we're gonna search for star. I'm gonna copy this one. So I've copied that, pasted that, then span dot again text should be a small text dot text should be gray gray uh let's do get 200 and let's do 2.1 so this is like the rating system then for the this one here we're gonna also do test gray 200 save this uh let's check that out you can see we have here right here good hopefully you can see that but when it's already coding it i think you should be able to see what i'm um, bringing out all right so the next thing we need is is now under uh i'm still trying to figure out just figure out where we are so under this place what we're going to do is not do div let's do span text should be small dot text gray dot um, text gray 200 200 so free guys comment this slash slash action so let's save this and check it out that's we have it here so what we're gonna do is copy this four times so just copy from that you're gonna be copying from exactly this place here so I'm just gonna copy that. So let's go ahead and copy that. So copy that and um yeah, so exactly this part and um, this them here. Yeah. So I've copied it from my other from my other view. So once you copy it, just go ahead and replace it with the images with the right images. So we should be having something like this. Nice. So we are through with this side here. 
So the last thing we do is move that to this place, and I, and I notice I'm missing something here. So at the top, at the top here, here we have, where we have this. I'm just gonna select all of them. So I'm gonna select all of them. I let you class font semi bold so we want them to be semi bold then only this one should be text blue of oh, 500 same thing with this one text blue of 500 save that i just let's close this tag and see what happens yeah exactly we just need to close that tag so make sure you close that tag so once you've done that the next thing we need to do is like just finish it up. All right, let's scroll down. So after this, all these ones here, I'm just gonna collapse it. I'm gonna collapse this one. Okay, good. So once you've collapsed that one, um, I'm just gonna read up, read out from this place. Okay. Let's close this. Once you've closed. Oh, I'm trying to figure out where that is. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, I think. Um, okay, let me just open that and like do this so I won't get myself confused. Okay. Yeah, so on that here, I'm going to have a padding top of four also. Padding top of four. Then under the on top, the IV padding horizontal of I think two is okay. Let's just pan text Excel dot text to the text white. The text I want to have saved playlists. So save playlist. Um, you're gonna be having yeah this. And don't forget this is an input field. Yeah, I think we've covered that. Let's cover that. Save playlist. So once you've done that, we wanna go ahead and do div dot padding top of three, and also image src. So let's go ahead and do the wish dragon. I I, I will not watch this, but if it's actually interesting, please just comment down below. Tell me. Right, the wish dragon. So we're gonna have a class. A class we want to have a class of height to be sixty, which should be full. And we want it to be rounded, to be a rounded image, so rounded it's excellent actually means extra large. So let's save this and see what we have. Nice, this is what we're having. Then let's add the over to like animate it. I do over animate. Pause. So over animate pause. So let's refresh this. If I show over it now, you can see the animation is now playing. Very nice. Very good. So let's just span. So that span should be a text small. Dot text should be white. Okay. Then let's do wish dragon. So that is a moving name. Who's gonna paste this on copy? Copy and paste that, then replace this with what year was it? Uh, 2021, I think so. Yep, so let's save this and see. We can have Wish Dragon, and we have 2021 right here. Beautiful. So, then under this DV, the last thing we're gonna be doing for this website is this. So, let's do padding top of two and let's do div.px of four dot flex dot justify center so we should move this okay good so we have justify center then let's do image image so we want to have image which is sonic dot jpeg so sonic is gonna have let's just save this and see what we have as sonic save this and you can see this is what we have as sonic uh let's just go ahead on Class this class H40 
rounded XL. W should be full, so we want it to be a full image, rounded image. And let's do object should like cover. So you can see the way the object cover will actually like make them fit together. You can see now that exactly is like making it fit fit the size. So last thing we wanna do is just do opacity should be fifty. Capacity will be 50. You can see now it's like this. Then we can go ahead and do over opacity should be 100. Save this. Refresh. If I should over that, I'm sorry. Refresh again. <laughs> um, why is this not working? Opacity. Opacity should be 100. Um, Save this, refresh again. It's actually supposed to work, but so once you over opacity, yeah, I can see it's right. I don't know what happened there. You can see it's not working now. And yeah, so we built this simple website using the CSS, and you can see it's not. It's not stressful at all, it's just simple, just adding classes together. And yeah, hopefully, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and you know, just go subscribe to my channel and uh, get me to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Um, Yeah, peace.